First I am going to log in as an administrator. Only the users in the group we specified at installation time can log in here. Now we are going to see about self-service settings in admin web. In self-service settings administrator can create and customize the policy which is applicable to self-service users, so that the users can safely manage their password by their own. And also admin can create any number of policies. Here admin can set their policy settings according to their requirements. By default test policy is created which is applied to whole scope you have selected at installation. Let's see how we can configure the settings to a policy. First, is enrollment questions. Here by default we have four questions, and minimum answer length is three for all the questions. You can set the minimum answer length for each question and can make it as mandatory by checking this box. Next setting is enrollment settings. Here admin can set the number of questions to answer. Number of custom questions. And minimum answer length for their custom questions. In this policy same answer is allowed for multiple questions. Here I am selecting number of question to answer as two. Next is security settings. Admin can set policy according to their security level they need. In addition to answer and incorrect answer lockout settings. We have capture display setting, where in test policy the background noise level, line noise level and the font warfing levels are set to none. And number of display text is 4. And next is password reset settings. Here in addition to general, and password change settings. We have, answer settings in which admin can select the number of questions to generate randomly, or set to answer all the questions during password reset. Next in unlock settings. An administrator can allow the user to unlock their account with or without answering security questions. Next important step is selecting the scope to which the policy settings are applied. In this policy whole scope is selected so test policy is applied to all users. Next one is mobile code verification settings. In this setting secret code is sent to the user's mobile during password reset. To proceed further, user need to enter the secret code. First we need to configure the mail server settings. Here I am giving my mail server details. And then test the connection. Finally save it as a default setting. Now configure the mobile code verification setting. Here I will type the service provider's mail address. Subject. Text to display. And, percent. Code. Percent. To display a code. This mail is sent to service provider and they send it to the user's mobile number. Next let's see about self-update policy. Here the admin can allow the users to edit their details. And here I am checking mobile only. So that users can edit their mobile details only. We have completely configured the required settings.